Hi to my new video. In this video I'm going to talk about Yarbage, a translation program between Windows apps and the Linux host. Yeah, let's go. In terms of audio production, audio programs, audio plugins, compressor, equalizer, distortion, delay, reverb, etc. Blah blah blah. You know, there's an immense and huge native support on Linux. There are many different functions, of course, that you can install. There are many different options, functions, etc. And it's an enormous support for Linux native audio plugins, etc. But not all of them. BiosFX2, for example or any other program. And now you, you install a VST plugin via bottles and then in the common files etc. in different directives, I'm going to show you this to you later. Then you can find you know, the .vst3, .vst, .clap etc. files. But the problem is uh, Linux Reaper, Linux native programs cannot read VST, VST3 etc. programs because you know those are not natively supported, which is a problem. But do not worry, we are going to install at first Wine. I've made a tutorial about Wine staging or Wine in general. In the description you can find it. But on top of uh, Wine staging, we are going to install Yarbridge Git and Yarbridge CTL. Yarbridge Git um, general is the the program itself, and Yarbridge CTL the command interface with which we give commands to Yarbridge. Because what we are doing with this uh, program, we are going to channel Windows plugins through Yarbridge into a format Linux Reaper can read. So with Yarbridge, the difference between Windows programs and Linux you know, completely disappear for most of programs. I have already worked with different Windows programs inside Linux and I can say I have not noticed any decrease in performance, stability, extra noise, you know, aliasing of the sound, nothing like that. So with with them, I only had smooth experience. It is really easy to set up. Once you've done it once, you know, there are three command lines with Yarbridge you need to know, and if you know them, you're good to go. It is deeply integrated into Wine itself, as I said previously. This is why you need to install the Wine staging, because Wine staging has the newest patches, newest functions in compared to regular Wine, which then Yarbridge itself relies upon. Then Yarbridge also enables MIDI mapping and automation. If that, uh, um, if you're acquainted with audio production terms, then you know what is meant with that. So how does Yarbridge itself work and what benefits do you have with Yarbridge? With Yarbridge, it enables a sub-process. What does that mean? Because with the sub-process, if a Windows program crashes through the, you know, Yarbridge environment, it is isolated so that it does not crash the entire system or the entire <laughs> audio recording session. I mean, let's hope it doesn't crash the entire operating system, but I mean, it doesn't crash Reaper or what, whichever DAW you're using. Low latency support, which is extremely important since I'm talking about, you know, uh, Linux has better performance, better stability, etc. And that only goes so far It's how its support for Windows programs is. And it provides that also for Windows programs. Yeah, Bridge supports 32 and 64 bit plugins. Now we are going to install Yarbridge dependencies for each distro and Wine. Now, here I have running Arch Linux in DevOS in my case, then Fedora, and then Debian. It, you know, all the steps that work for Debian can also be used for Ubuntu, for example. And first things first, we are going to just make general updates. Either sudo pacman minus syyu password. Okay, nothing else to do. Clear. So, and what we need to do is first install Wine staging. Yes.
den Pseudo Pac. Pseudo Pacman minus S Base Devil. In the description, copy paste everything. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Now, if you are working on, on Arch Linux, the only thing you need to do is J minus S. Ja, bridge minus git ja bridge ctl then you can just press enter and yes and then you can basically skip the entire rest of this video because then yeah you know, it's the the arch user repository for arch linux it does all the steps for you now if you're working on any other distro i will install it directly from github and build it from there so yeah we are not going in my showcase i'm not going to use this command if you're only working in arch you can do this now let's jump to fedora <coughs> yeah git gcc plus c plus plus make c make etc some dependencies just let it do its thing and now, in order to install further apps and dependencies, we need to install RPM Fusion, which is adding rep additional repositories to Fedora. Number one. Then this command utility to work with further commands we need to install. Then we are going to add the wine repository. Sudo dnf update again. And the main package winehq staging. So, now to install the needed dependencies for Debian, we need to add the 32-bit architecture. In the description you can find all of these. Then update the packages again. Install Wine itself. So, after installing all the dependencies for after installing all the dependencies for each distro, we are just going to move on. Now open any browser. Let's go to Yarbridge. The GitHub page will be linked in the description. So, go to the version and the Yarbridge tar file. So now. Unzip it. Then we can delete this here. So now the content of this folder. Now this will be important because what we need to do with this uh, these files here, we need to copy it into two places. At first, yeah, go back to downloads. And then click here, open in a new folder. And now this will be important. Now, when you uh, press, in my case, in DevOS, in you know, Arch Distro is the main drive. Now, 
Here we can see you know bin boot dev edit say home lib run var user temp sys etc. When I go open terminal here and press in pvd, there's only a slash. That means we are under the root directive. And what we need to do is first go into home. And this is the username of mine. In your case it might be named differently in here. And now I am inside the personal folder. You can also access this folder here by clicking away and then personal folder. Just two ways to get into the same folder. And what we need to do is we're going to need to enter the .local file. What, yeah, you press Control H or Steuerung H, depending on language of your keyboard, and the hidden folders will be shown or hidden again. So .local, this is where we need to go. Local, and now we need to copy the content of this folder in here. And now, what we also need to do, we're going to now this user lib folder, and we need to copy the content of this folder. You can see .so .so files. Now we need also to copy this in here. So user lib folder and you can see you can see copy you cannot paste it in here and uh, why is that the case because yeah you are working directly from you know, the root directive and your operating system does not like it but we, there's one way to do this now go back into the installation folder of, of your bridge terminal open terminal here what we are going to do, pvd, pvd, yeah, home, steve, the username, downloads, garbage, this is the folder where we are currently in, double click, copy, and what we are going to do is sudo copy minus r, copy paste, now we are going to need to add a slash, and then slash user lib slash and then enter password so now we are currently ls to show all the files in there and you can see we have this yarbridge ctl tool here dot slash copy paste it in here yarbridge ctl press enter now we can see if you have this shown up here that means now yeah, it works for, um, or basically the prime installation has worked what we want to do is we want to access the terminal from anywhere inside the system not just from you know the installation folder and press and press yeah bridge ctl sync command was not found something did not work here let's re-enter the garbage folder press dot slash ya bridge ctl this did work then sync so now there's an error message could not find lib garbage chain loader dot vst dot so in either user lib or home steve you know in the two folders we have installed it into now as you can see open a new subfolder that's the yarbridge lib yarbridge chain loader vst2.so has been installed into two folders yeah during the copying phase i made a mistake the only thing you need to do now is sudo move user lib because i have copied the entire folder not just its contents so use this command in the description you can find it now when you open this folder here ls this is what we want yeah. dot slash 
garbage CDL. It works. Now sync. Now it also works because now if you have finished setting zero plugins because none are selected. If you have now this message, it has worked. The only thing left to do is since we want you know to open the terminal anywhere and press yar bridge CTL sync. Now it doesn't work because we are not in this folder. But we want to access this command everywhere. And how do we do this? First we update the dynamic linker cache. And then we are going to create a symbolic link. Now the only thing for you to do in this you know, in the description you can find it. This here. Steve in my case, in your case it is named differently. But other than this, just copy everything. Do this. And now press clear. Remember, I'm not in this folder here. I'm just in the where are we? PVD, the home Steve folder. Not in this folder. And now, yeah, bridge CTL sync. Now I can access yeah bridge commands everywhere in the system. Yeah, and now we are finished installing yeah bridge. Thanks for watching this video. Keep working because there's still much to so do. And go read Berserk.